Hey NBA 2K fans, in this video we're going to talk about the on the fly lineups feature in NBA 2K. Give you a couple suggestions on how you might want to use this feature. If you're new to the channel, I am Coach 2K. And if you love basketball and you love NBA 2K, you're going to want to subscribe while you're here and click the bell to get notified whenever I upload anything new so you don't miss a single NBA 2K video that I put out. Before we get started, just a quick note to check out my Fictional My League series. We're on a 13 game winning streak behind our superstar Byron Daly. I'll put a link to the last game up in the upper left hand corner so you can check out what's going on there. Alright, so let's get started and talk about the on the fly lineup feature in NBA 2K. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is show you where to find the on the fly lineups feature both inside of My League or My GM. And also, if you're in a play now situation, where to access it there. And we'll start within the My League, My GM files. If you go under the coaching tab, you're going to see a tab that says lineups. You just click lineups, and that's going to take you to the on the fly lineups menu. And in here, you'll notice once you get in here, you can choose an on the fly lineup for bench, tall, quick, defense, three point, free throw, custom, and then you're back to the bench. And so in a minute, we'll go through kind of how you might want to use these on the fly lineups. But let's first show you where you can find this like in a play now situation. In a play now game, though, you're going to be able to access these on the fly lineups at the edit lineup screen before a game. And you'll notice here I'm on the Pacers side. It says starter there and it says R2, L2. So if I hit R2, it goes to the bench, the tall, the quick defense, the three point, the free throw, the custom, and then back to starter. So you can go in here and you can edit your starters. If you want, you can edit each of these lineups within this part of play now. And that's a nice feature. What's nice also in play now is if you want to adjust the starters in play now, you can do it from this screen. But in my league, my gym, you got to adjust the starters a little bit different. So let me show you how you do that. When you're inside a my league or my GM file, you have to adjust the starters in the coach game plan under rotations. And so that's where you decide who's going to start, how many minutes they're going to get. So before each game, obviously you're going to you're going to want to go in there and adjust your starters however you feel like you want to set that up. But the other on the fly lineups, you're going to adjust outside of that. Now the purpose of these on the fly lineups is to give you a chance to think ahead before the game to figure out who you'd want on the floor during certain situations of the game and then you can just throw that lineup out there without having to fumble through your substitutions and figure out well who do I want to have in there in this situation so a good example is the free throw lineup if it's at the end of the game and you know you're going to get fouled well you want to have your best free throw shooting lineup out there and instead of having to fumble through and figure out how to get everybody in in a certain amount of time you can just choose the free throw lineup and it automatically throws it in there for you if it's a, if you're allowed to substitute at that time. Now you'll notice that I'm here in the game, so if I want to do a quick substitution, I can just press down on the D-pad, and I can go to these quick lineups, and I can choose like free throw, for example, and then the next dead ball, then that lineup's going to come in, and it's going to be on the floor. So that makes it really nice and easy when I'm actually involved in gameplay I don't have to call a timeout in order to get that substitution in there now if it's during a timeout then I have access to this in the timeout screen too I can go in here you can see right now this is the current players on the court and so I can go to these situational lineups too by hitting the L2 and the R2 button so if I want to put my free throw lineup out there then this is how I would do it in the middle of the timeout and so that gives me a chance to focus on other things during the timeout so I don't have to like sit here and, and adjust to kind of get everybody in and find everybody. It's a lot quicker just to use a situational lineup. Okay, a couple ways you can use the on the fly lineup feature to make substitutions easier. First is you can just use them as they're designed in the game. So if you want to put a big lineup on the floor, obviously you can use the tall on the fly lineup to do that. You want to go small or put a quicker lineup out there, you can use the quick lineup to do that. Now, typically, I do something a little bit different. Now, as far as these already predetermined on the fly lineups, what I usually do 
is I use the bench lineup because I usually go 10 deep. So I like to have my full bench in there so that if I just want all the bench guys in at one time, then I can just easily choose it. The other thing I like to do is use the free throw lineup. Occasionally I use the three point lineup and I definitely use this custom lineup as well. And I usually use this for my third stringers. So that if the game is out of hand, either one way or the other, I'm up big or down big, then I'll put my, my third stringers in to give protect my other players, give them a little rest and get these guys some minutes. And what's nice is you can even rename this uh, lineup so that you remember kind of what it's for when you're looking at the on the fly lineup sub situation during the game and then it'll name it that. So that's one way you can do it. Let me give you an additional tip here on how you might want to use the on the fly lineup. Another way I could use these instead is I could repurpose these on the fly lineups and use them for more of a rotational rather than situational purpose. So like in this case here with the tall lineup, let's say the first substitution in the game I want to make is to put Sabonis in for Thaddeus Young. Well, I could already have that predetermined in my tall lineup and then I would know that my, the first rotation I wanted to, rotational substitution I wanted to make would be to put Sabonis in and I could just choose my tall lineup. Let's say the next rotational substitution I wanted to make would be, bring in Corey Joseph and Kyle O'Quinn, then I could have that as my quick lineup and I know that'd be rotation number two. And then I could go to defense for bring in McDermott for rotation number four if I wanted to do that. And then I could just go to my bench for the full bench rotation. So in addition to using these on the fly lineups for situational purposes, you could repurpose them for rotational purposes to make it easier to get the lineup on the floor that you wanted in certain situations as far as time of the game. And yet another thing you could do is if you knew that you know the guys on the court weren't all the unit you wanted to have on there, but you knew that most of it was like your bench lineup, but you just wanted to make one change, you could put your bench in there real quick and then just change the one guy that you wanted to change to make it easy instead of changing five guys. So if you knew you're on the fly lineups real well, that's another suggestion that you can do. The other thing I should point out is that in your coach settings, if you want to take advantage of the on the fly lineups, then you're going to need to have substitution set to manual because otherwise the computer is going to substitute based on how it sees the minutes and the coach sliders and decide who they're going to put in. They're not going to necessarily use the on the fly lineups. So uh, you'll want to have this set to manual. And, and remember during the game, if you can go from auto to manual towards the end of the game and in certain situations and put in your on the fly lineups if you want. And I've done that from time to time. And if you want some tips on auto subs versus manual subs, I did a whole video on that. I'll put a link to that in the corner so it can give you some additional tips on how to approach auto versus manual subs. It's probably a good time to mention too that the quarter length being 12 minutes it's a lot more strategy in the game in terms of situations and rotations. And so I always play 12 minute quarters. I know everybody doesn't have time to do that. But if you're playing a five or six minute quarter game, you know, it's not as important as it would be like in a 12 minute quarter game when you got to make a lot more decisions and utilize your bench a lot more than you would in a, a much shorter game. And these on the fly lineups are essentially used during games you actually play in. So you can't really use it during the SimCast Live. I mean, there's not an actual place to put in a lineup. And on the fly lineup, you have to actually just go in and do the minutes. The only way you'd be able to do that is if you actually jumped into the game and kind of put your players in that you wanted. I just thought it was kind of unusual it wasn't in there. Now, I don't use SimCast Live very much. Maybe those of you do. You know, I have some additional tips on that. But I just noticed it wasn't in there you have to actually jump in the game to kind of put in the lineups that you want to put in. So let me know down in the comments how you're using on the fly lineups uh, in your my leagues, my GMs, or play now. If you got any suggestions that I didn't mention in this video that you think other people would benefit from, you know, that would be great if you put them down in the comments. And also while you're here, check out all my other NBA 2K videos. I've been trying to cover all the features in the game in a way that um, you know, I don't see other people doing. And so while you're here, be sure and subscribe so you get notified when I put up other new stuff. And in the meantime, I am Coach 2K, and I'll see you on the court.
in the next video. Thanks for watching.